Did you know that the Bible does not tell us to love our parents? Did you know it? The Bible does not tell us to love our parents. The Bible tells us to love God, our neighbor, even our enemies. But interestingly, there's no commandment that is explicit about loving the parents. But there is a commandment, the fifth commandment, which is to honor your father and your mother. Isn't it interesting? God in his infinite wisdom knows that at times children have reasons enough to not fall in love with their parents. Not all, unfortunately, are blessed with loving parents who are role models, who are present, father and mother. Not all had this blessing, this privilege. Many, I do not know the quantity, but nowadays, more than ever, many did not have a father, a mother, that they could fall in love with them. But the Bible does not deal with this. The Bible does not want to know if you fall in love with your parents. The Bible only wants to know if you honor your father and your mother. The fifth commandment out of ten says, Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Well, there are many reasons for this. There are many reasons for God to put this commandment in His Word. A commandment that He knows that is the foundation of a successful society, because a society that does not honor a father and a mother is destined to fail, even to the point of extinction. Because families are over, society is over. If there are no families, the foundation of a society, in a short period of time, a society will extinguish, because there's no sense of belonging, because it's in the family that we start to realize, to understand the first feelings of belonging. I didn't just come to the world. I belong to a father, mother, I have a family. I have people who care for me, who wants to know if I'm eating, studying, if I'm going well, if I'm going bad, which means it's in the family that we have the first sense of belonging that we belong to someone. And it's in that that we learn to care for others as we were cared for. That's why it's important for a father and a mother to express more than financial care to their children is for them to express care. How are you, my child? How are you? Because there's no money that can buy this. The 200 reais bill note in the bank account of your children will not ask them if they are doing well or bad. You are the one who needs to make this call. You are the one who at least must call them if you cannot be there present. You are the one who must do this. How are you, my child? So it's in the family that we have this first sense of belonging, of care, of value. But we also know that many did not have this. And that's why God does not force, does not give a commandment that we should love our parents, but to honor them. What does it mean to honor our parents? To honor means for you to do what is right for them to do what is right, for you to treat them in a special way compared to the way you treat others. Even though you may not be treated like this, understand, the mistreatment from someone does not need to define the way that you treat this person. That's why the Bible teaches that we should 
And we must pay evil with good, because you don't need to pay evil with evil. You don't need to do that. There's no law that determines that you need to pay evil with evil. The new law of the Lord Jesus, even in the law of the Old Testament, there was the eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. But Jesus came to say that through these laws, the world will end with blind and toothless people. Imagine everybody being blind and toothless. Imagine a blind dentist. You have a bad tooth, and then you go to the dentist, but he's also blind. What a situation. Knowing this, Jesus determined you should not return evil with evil. You don't need to return evil with evil. The same with you who are a daughter or a son should not return the flaws of your parents with your own flaws. No, you don't need to do that. You can honor them. This is to honor. To honor means I'll do my part. I'll do what is right. It doesn't matter what the other person did. I will do what is right. To honor and to give a special treatment to your parents. What is a special treatment to your parents? Those who I treat in a special way, I even change my tone of voice. I don't deal with my parents the way they treat any person. I don't treat my wife in the way they treat any person. When I speak to my wife, my tone of voice changes. And I'm certain that you do the same. When you speak to your husband, your wife, your tone of voice changes, for good or for bad. Whether you're more loving or it changes, what do you want? That it shouldn't be like this. Am I right? But your tone of voice towards those who you treat in a different way. Hello, my love. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. How are you? It changes. You give them a special treatment, a different treatment to the one who you love. Your father, your mother is not anyone. They are not anyone. The days that children treated their parents as sir, ma'am, these days are over. The days that children will ask for the blessing. Some of you still did that. I'm from a time that we would ask the blessings. More from my grandparents, because my parents didn't reinforce much. But when I will get to my grandparents' home, I'll have to approach them and say, my blessing, grandfather, my blessing, grandmother, uncle. And before going to bed, at times, there was a queue of 30 minutes because I had to ask for the blessing for everyone. But today, children treat their parents as anybody, at times, even worse than a nobody. And I'm certain that many parents who are listening to me are called by names that children not even call people on the street by. A total disrespect, a total dishonor. When we honor father and mother, we give them a special treatment. You don't curse them, you curse nobody, much less your father and mother. You don't mistreat your father and mother. There's no excuse for you to mistreat father or mother. Whatever the reason may be, maybe they are at an age and they lose their patience with the elderly. They lose their patience because the elderly is from a different time, it's a different generation. They have a different head and the youths, the young ones, they don't understand the elderly. But this respect, that we should give to our parents, we should not lose our patience with our parents. Do you know why? Especially you who have children. Pay attention to what I will tell you. If you have children or you will have children, they are watching the way you treat your parents. And guess, where will they draw the example on how to treat you? Think about it. To honor a father and a mother is not only for the parents' benefit. To honor father and mother is for the benefit of the children. As the commandment says, life is longer 
Life is better when we honor father and mother. Children receive the benefit. The parents rejoice when the children honor them. And this commandment is in there for a reason. From there, we draw the example on how we should honor God. Reflect on this fifth commandment. You can read the Ten Commandments in your Bible in the book of Exodus chapter 20. And the fifth commandment specifically is on verse 12. Read all focusing on this commandment. Reflect on this even though your parents may no longer be alive. But still, even though they are no longer here, you can live in a way that will honor their memory and all that they did for you. Don't forget this. If you know a mother, a father, a child who needs to listen to this message, send this to them. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do so. Activate the bell for you to receive the new messages. See you next time.